March sun sinkingly tied the Adirondacks glistened on the ice sheathing waters of Lake Champlain for two hundred years a theater of war. And here's the sun sinking. See here. Samuel Full Camplain's engraved illustration shows him clad in full armor and plumed helmet of the head of the his Algonquin Montagnes and Huron allies firing the shot from his Aquarius that Rebus that was to bring him down three Iroquois chiefs and earned for the French of the immunity of that nation. Following the conventions of that day, the Indians are shown naked, though they were actually clothed, and the engraver has airily changed their canoes into a French riverboat while a few palm trees alive in the background. There he is. The eastern side of Valkyr Island, left, and Spoon Island appear as they would have to look at in the stern of a ship in the British fleet that sailed on south on land near Camp Lane in 1776. The British, looking for an American flotilla under Benedict Arnold, Old, Arnold failed to spot the enemy ships drawn up a channel to the west of the island and had to turn and tack against the wind to, in order to engage the Americans. That this is Valkyr Island, and this is Spoon Island. Sugar maples and paper birches on the lower Osceable Lake. A Canada goose. Red spruce and a beach at the lake's narrows. Puff balls on a fallen birch. Red maple leaves on a decaying log. A solitary beech trunk by the trail. A tussock moth caterpillar. Mosses adorning the base of a beach. Lenzites fungi on a beech log. A gerber red spruce and balsam fir. Anomodon mosses on icy rocks. A sprig of balsam fir. Bunchberry on sphagnum grass. Nodding snow crystals on hair capped moss. Mosses and lichens on weathered rocks. The base of little haystack. Fishers near the peak. Deer's hair in a summit crevice. Looking south from the summit of haystack. Okay. Resembling a broad, steep ski run as on the side of a giant mountain, a scar caused by a catastrophic mudslide glistens under fresh snow. The slide resulted from a record of cloudbursts that broke over the mountain in 1963. This is Giant Mountain. You can see here. The central peaks of the main range. Adirondack Massif dominate the horizon above the changing foliage on the north shore of Upper Alcibel Lake. Nearby it left, the scarred dome of Basin, ninth highest in the range, chains in the quiet waters over its shoulder. Saddleback rises above snow dusted ridges at left center. At right, the naked facade of Gothics, whose slides suggest gigantic cathedral windows source to the sky. There's the Adirondack Massif.
Most of the high peaks and hub of the area, Mount Marcy thrusts a snowy summit to the sky in this view from Algon Quint Peak. This is Mount Marcy. A gleaming dot in the forest, like tear of the cloud.